So in this video, I want to go through a quick unboxing and demonstration of the X Infrared XH15. Now, this is also known as the Thermal Master X3. I've been researching thermal cameras for a really long time, and I purchased this myself from an Australian retailer. And it's really hard to actually find one of these. They're called different names. It was kind of confusing, but yeah, I managed to, to find one anyhow. And basically what I think's happened is that X Infrared and Thermal Master are the same company, but they've now rebranded this, this camera as the Thermal Master X3. So yeah, that's why it's got all the X Infrared branding on there, but it's pretty much the same same camera i don't know if they've changed this you know this little holder which i'll show you in a little bit but yeah the reason why i got this one you know i've been really obsessing over just researching these thermal cameras for a while now i really like this one just the the specifications of this one because it's 60 hertz most of these thermal monoculars are about 25 hertz so yeah and it's i would say it's about double the price of one of those other 25 hertz setups but yeah I, I think it's going to be worth it once I try it out 25 millikelvin you know I'm not an expert on this right now but 25 millikelvin believe that means that it's quite sensitive to contrast so different types of thermal variation and yeah this is a monocular for I guess exploration wildlife observation uh, could also be used for hunting the resolution is really high compared to other thermal cameras out there so it's 384 by 288 pixels and 12 micrometer spacing as well so yeah you do get quite a few of these thermal cameras that upscale but that is the native resolution of the of the camera of the ir camera and i believe it upscales even further in the app so i'm gonna have to check it out and see so x infrared slash thermal master include a bit of paperwork in here so this was the paperwork that came with the handle and it's all in Chinese. So yeah, my Chinese actually isn't that good. So I'm going to have to use Google Translate for this, but I don't even think that, yeah, I don't even think this is going to be an issue because it's just, it's more or less set up. You just got to unscrew this mechanism here on the left. And that actually allows you to take it out and then put in the thermal camera and then install it into this handheld device. You can of course plug the camera directly into your phone, but I think this camera is going to be a lot easier to use with this handle because of the high zoom, the high focal length of it, that 15 millimeter focal length. And what else do you get with it? There's a little instruction manual. So I've already downloaded the application. That's pretty much it. I mean, they give you a little thank you letter in there. Uh, that's the box that it comes in. And that is the box that the handle comes in. So if we look at the camera itself, comes with this nice little zippy case. And they do also include one of these extension, USB-C extension cords. And that's going to be pretty handy for some of you. It'd be handy for me because the case of my phone is really chunky, as you can see. And there's no way that this camera is going to plug directly in there uh yeah that's not going to go so yeah that's just going to allow you to plug this one in first like that and then connect the camera up so this is the x3 or the xh15 itself and I'll tell you what this thing is tiny it's like it's like a two centimeter by two centimeter cube and it's got a lens cap on there and you can see the lens and it is focusable and yeah just the ability to focus the lens was really important for me because i saw a lot of those cheaper ones on aliexpress and on amazon which can only have i guess a short focal length or a long focal length which means yeah you can have to choose between one or the other whereas this one you can actually put it up close enough to a circuit board see some of the hot spots and also use it for long range which is what it's actually made for so yeah, tiny little thing. It almost feels quite fragile, but the case is made of aluminium, which I like. Back of it think has made of plastic. So this is the handle that you install the camera into. And when I received this, it didn't even come with the battery. So I don't know if other versions will come with the 
with the battery or not, but I ended up putting in my own battery. I found out it's a 21700 cell. So I grabbed this cell, this little color cell from uh, one of my flashlights. So thankfully I had one of those. And what this does is that it powers this range finder, I guess, here in the front. There's a red laser. It's like a low powered red laser. It looks about one milliwatt. And you've also got this button here that you press and it tells you the battery. Okay, so it's like three out of five bars, need to charge that. You can also charge the battery inside. So yeah, you can plug in there. And there's also an out port here. So it says multi out. And I wonder if there is, yeah, there's some other devices that were meant to be attached here. Some other accessories that kind of attach along the, the top and along the side that this output jack is for. But yeah, I'm glad that it does come with this range finding laser because some of them you have to actually purchase separately. So yeah, anyway, it also has this cap here, as you can see. So if you take off the cap on the camera here, there is still going to be one that you can attach on, which is great. So yeah, I'm going to try to attach the camera and just see how it works. All right, looks like I've got everything kind of up and working now and you can see here is like a bit of a, a thermal image of my laptop that's the usb connector there that's reading at 34.3 celsius my computer screen uh, let's just angle this up a little bit yep just so that you can see how my computer screen showing up it's really decent resolution so I'm going to go outside, let's try this out, and uh, yeah, see how it performs. So I'm just outside now, and uh, just try to focus this a bit better. I mean, that's pretty much as good as it can get. But uh, yeah, you can see there's a car down below that's like been parked recently, so it's hotter, I guess, because of that. There's another person to the left, and... The amount of detail on this is incredible. Oh, there you go. It's off. bit of cauliflower in my oven <laughs> so I think this one kind of looks the best on the app and you can just focus uh, the focus it so that it looks more sharp as well I mean that you can like zoom in on it that's where I was sitting before on my chair so it's like just pick that up and you can see my computers those like power sockets here on the ground and the light there as well it's not on at the moment but that's so cool there's nothing here on my desk And 
and just focus that a little bit better so you can see the hot plate which I had on a little while earlier 44 degrees Celsius and the oven I've got a cauliflower sitting in there that's at 50 the rest of the oven's like hotter especially at the back This is my uh, intercom, which is kind of hot on the right hand side. Let's check inside my, my uh, meter box. I'm going to have to just focus this in a bit better, like that maybe, in front of a mirror, so it actually reflects back the infrared light. When I look in the mirror, that's nuts. <laughs> and this is something really cool. On top of my oven, there's a bit of kind of stainless steel, reflective stainless steel, but I can't see anything in there with, you know, just normally looking at it, but the camera is able to pick up, I guess, the infrared that's reflecting back from from my body so you can even see the folds in the in my clothing and if I focus it even more you can make out like the the dials and what the dials say on my oven